Hello guys, it's the Binoculars View Media Top Info here with another hot trending video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe, like and hit the notification bell on your screen now to stay updated. Don't forget to share and tell a friend to subscribe like and share. Today we are going to look at some interesting things we didn't know about the Olympic black skater Erin Jackson and her skating journey. It's been 20 years since an American woman has won an individual medal in long track speed skating at the Olympics, but Erin Jackson did just that on Sunday, as she captured the gold medal in the 500-meter race. Jackson gave the United States its sixth gold medal of these Olympics, and here are some fast facts that you need to know about the country's newest gold medalist. Erin Jackson started out as the little kid with the plastic wheel strapped to the bottom of her shoes, rattling up and down the driveway. Then she was an artistic inline skater, emulating figure skaters at the roller rink. Then a world-class speed skater on pavement. A novice speed skater on ice. A world-class speed skater on ice. And now, finally, the prohibitive favorite to win an Olympic gold medal. Just five years after switching from inline skating to ice, the 29-year-old Jackson enters the 2022 Beijing Olympics as the no. One ranked skater in the world at 500 meters. She is one of the few black competitors in an overwhelmingly white sport, an ice skating star from a Florida town without a year-round rink, and a professional athlete who, for most of her life, has prioritized academics over practice. School was my main thing, Jackson said. And then skating is what I would do when I could fit it in, when I had the time. In 2018, Jackson qualified for her first Winter Olympics despite having only competed in speed skating on ice for a grand total of four months. And then, in an unusual twist of fate, she almost missed out on qualifying for the 2022 Games, despite being ranked number one in the world. Along the way Jackson said her goals have evolved dramatically, from 2018, to earlier this season, to now. Going into 2018, I was just like, oh wow, how did this happen? She recalled with a laugh, adding, now definitely going for the gold. And that's the goal. She really is a role model. A self-described rink rat, Jackson said she spent much of her childhood at the local inline skating rink in Ocala, Florida, listening to music or hanging out at the snack bar. She was also a roller figure skater for about two years. And when she did, Jackson quickly reminded Hildebrand of another young skater who bolted off the starting line, an Ocala girl named Brittany Bow. Brittany was the fastest girl, and then when Aaron started, Aaron had that same crazy start, Hildebrand said. She was chasing those big girls down. And they didn't want to get caught. Nobody wants to get caught by the new beginner kid. Bo went off to college at Florida Atlantic, and Jackson soon became one of the best skaters on Hildebrand's team Florida, now known as Ocala Speed. She won 47 national titles and 12 world championship medals on inline skates, while also being named the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee's Female Athlete of the Year for Roller Sports in 2012, 2013, and 2015. Jackson achieved all of this despite not taking inlining as seriously as I could have, as she put it. Hildebrand said she would often arrive late to practice or leave early in order to fulfill obligations at church or focus on schoolwork. Rosicki, who taught Jackson in four courses, said she knew her student competed in inline skating races and would sometimes drive long distances to train after class. But she got the impression that it was all pretty casual. Then I looked her up on the internet and you find out this kid is, like, top, Rosicki said. She never talked about it that way. Fell in love with the challenge. By the time she graduated cum laude from Florida, Jackson had already seen two of her former inline teammates, Bo and Joey Mantia, compete at the Winter Olympics on ice. Jackson had never seriously considered making that switch herself, in part because she hated the cold and thought training on ice for hours at a time sounded miserable. But when an official with US. Speed skating reached out and asked if she'd give it a try, she obliged. I thought if I didn't try it now. I'd always wonder could I have been good at this other sport, you know? Jackson said. I just fell in love with the challenge of it. That challenge largely revolved around technique, which is completely different on ice than it is on asphalt or concrete. The technique that I used on inlines would get me nowhere on ice, Jackson explained. Though both disciplines require power, speed skating on ice requires competitors to sit in a lower position for the entirety of the race, maintaining sharper angles than they would otherwise need on inline skates. It's hard because a lot of people look at it and go, oh, they just put on different skates, and they can just jump right over and be Olympians. 
Well, no, said Hildebrand, who has coached inline speed skating since 1987. Hildebrand held out hope for years that inline speed skating would one day be included in the Summer Olympics, as skateboarding was for the first time at the 2020 Tokyo Games. And had that been the case, she said, Jackson, like Bo and Mantia, might already have multiple Olympic medals. Even after Jackson qualified for the 2018 Olympics and blossomed into the world's top 500-meter speed skater on ice, she said she is still more comfortable on inlines, which she called my first love on skates. I think if inline had been an Olympic sport, we wouldn't have gone looking somewhere else, she said. But it's not. So we're just very fortunate to have another outlet, another way to kind of get there. A gift from a friend. Jackson became the first black woman to compete for Team USA in speed skating when she placed 24th at the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics. And she seemed on a track to start him in subsequent years, leading up to Beijing. Then, at the US. Olympic trials in January, disaster struck. It was a simple slip-up in a 500-meter race, the type of fluke that rarely ruins Olympic dreams. It cost Jackson only a fraction of a second. But in a sport where winners can be decided by the tip of a blade, it was enough. Jackson finished third at the trials, where only the top two finishers would be guaranteed spots on the Olympic team. Pretty stressful. Definitely, she said later. Stressful is a good word for it. Jackson thought the rulebook might grant her a chance to skate the race again, but to no avail. She studied the guidelines for quota places, wondering if the US might be awarded a third spot. Then, in a heartwarming gesture shortly after the slip, Bo privately informed Jackson that she would relinquish her own spot on Team USA at that distance, if necessary, passing up a chance at a medal in her secondary event so that Jackson could have a medal-winning opportunity of her own. In my heart, there was never a question that I would do whatever it took, if it came down to me, to get Aaron to skate the Olympics, Bo said. No one is more deserving than her. Jackson later described it as receiving a precious gift from a close friend, whom she first met in Ocala when Jackson was 10 years old. She is an amazing person, Jackson said. The US was later granted an additional quota spot, ensuring that Bo would be able to compete in the 500 after all, in addition to 1000 and 1500, which are her stronger events. As for Jackson, the means by which she earned her spot in the 500-meter field does not change her approach. After winning four World Cup races this season, she is focused only on winning gold. That's a lot of pressure to bear, sure. But Jackson relishes it. When there's not enough pressure, I feel like I get a little too relaxed, she said. The more pressure we can put on me, the better. She's still pretty new to the sport. Jackson has been skating for most of her life, taking up roller skating when she was eight years old. She was also a star in inline speed skating, winning seven medals in world championship events and a silver medal at the 2015 Pan American Games. Despite all of that, Jackson only started competing in speed skating on ice back in 2017, according to Olympics.com. After only a year of practice, she qualified for the 2018 Olympics, finishing 24th in the 500 meters in Pyeongchang. Her teammate helped her get to Beijing. Despite being the top-ranked 500-meter skater in the world, Jackson was in danger of missing the Olympic event after finishing third in the U.S. Speed skating trials, but her teammate Brittany Bowe, who won the event, gave her the spot instead. Advertisement. I'm just incredibly grateful, Jackson said of the gesture. I'm really humbled, and she's just an amazing person. Bo did get to compete in the 500 meters after the US earned another quota spot in the race and finished in 16th place. Fast on the track in more ways than one. According to Olympics.com, not only did Jackson compete in inline speed skating, but she also competed in roller derby events as well, playing for the Ocala Cannibals and the Jacksonville Roller Girls. Our best guess is that she was an elite level jammer. Her victory puts her among Olympic royalty. Prior to Jackson's win, it had been 28 years since an American woman had captured the gold medal in the 500 meters. The last American woman to win that prize was the iconic Bonnie Blair, who won the event in three consecutive Olympics from 1988 to 1994. Well that's all for today, thank you for watching I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you have subscribed to this channel, and if you haven't kindly do so and don't forget to like, comment and share my videos. See you in our next video. Thank you.